Hey guys. Okay. So one of the biggest questions that I always get is how to stay on track while traveling. It's no secret that I travel all the time. Last year, myself and my husband and our three kids lived out of our suitcase for four months. So two of those months were in Europe um, and we didn't stay in places, you know, much longer than like three to five days, maybe seven days. And we were constantly on the go living out of suitcases. And then in our real life, we're always traveling. Like we travel four to six weeks. Sometimes I travel with kids, sometimes without. Sometimes I stay in remote areas. Sometimes I stay in the city. Um, we're always gone. Like I'm always on a plane. I'm, my husband's always on a plane. We're always doing stuff, but we love it that way. So if I only stayed on track while travel, if I only stayed on track while I was at home, I would not be in the shape that I am. And I constantly hear people who are like, I travel, I don't know what to do, and they freak out. It's not that hard, trust me. It's actually pretty simple. But it's a mindset and it's making sure that you're prepped. So you need to go into it with, okay, I'm going to stay on track during this and this is what I'm gonna do. Now there are those trips that you do go a wild and that's fine. Like, you know, we've gone to Mexico and I'm like, heck no, I'm not staying on track. I'm gonna enjoy margaritas. I'm gonna sit on the beach and eat guacamole and chips. But I can't do that on every trip or um, we would have some serious issues. <laughs> I would have some digestive issues too. So anyway, here's my top tips. So I always bring my trusty little blender because I bring Shakeology everywhere I go. You can get this at Target. I think it's like $15 or $20. Um, this thing is a lifesaver. It's very compactable. You just stick it in your suitcase. Now, I do Shakeology for breakfast every time. My kids do it for breakfast. My husband does it for breakfast. This alone saves us a ton of money. Have you ever taken a family of five out to eat on vacation for breakfast? It is horrible. It's at least $80 to $100. And that's getting two of your kids to share, which my kids do not share. So I always bring Shakeology. We've done this in Disneyland, Disney World. We've done this Europe, like everywhere. No excuses, you guys. I have traveled to Haiti with Shakeology. I have done it all. You can do packets or a lot of times, you guys, this does not look so pretty, but I stick it in a Ziploc bag with a scoop and I double bag it. Don't go cheap on Get Ziplocs, don't get like the cheap brands, get the good brand. So I do that for breakfast and my whole family drinks it the whole time we're on vacation. Because I feel like if you start your day off right too, well, you're saving money, you're starting your day off right, it's going to set you up for success. So we do that every single time. The other thing that I do, so that I do that, and a lot of times people are like, um, you know, they freak out because they're like, you know, I don't have water. Well, you need to get water when you get there. Um, one trick that I have learned um, is I go to the ice machine the night before. <laughs> I fill up the ice bucket to the brim and then I take it back to my room and in the morning, guess what? You've got ice and cold water because some of the ice is melted. So I make my shake with that ice cold water and I make it for the rest of the family. So that's one of my little tricks if you don't have access to fresh water because there are definitely some places you don't want to drink the water. So that's one of my tricks. But I would try to get um, jugs of water, which brings me to my next point. Amazon Prime. Amazon Now is awesome, you guys, and they deliver to most major cities. So you can go online, order your groceries, and they will be in your hotel room within a few hours. If you don't have that option, because that's new, and I've always just find like a grocery store. And yeah, it might not be super convenient, but usually it's not that hard. Um, Uber over to the grocery store, get your groceries, and Uber back. Most hotel rooms will give you a fridge um, for free if they don't already have it. Some have microwaves, some don't. Usually if they don't have a microwave in the room, they have one downstairs. So I, again, I have stayed in hotels all over the world. I always find a fridge. You can do it too. So um, make sure that you ask before you get there if you can have a fridge because usually if you prepare, they'll give you one. And honestly, most hotels do have fridges. So what do I buy at the grocery store or what do I order from Amazon Prime? Well, I have my staples. Big jugs of water for sure because you wanna have water. 
Um, especially with my family, we need water. We go through water like crazy. So I order those big jugs and I make sure that everybody in my family brings a water bottle. So especially when you're flying or different things like that, you can bring your water bottle. Yeah, you can't fill it until you get through security. But most flight attendants will fill your water bottle for you on the plane, which is really nice. So I do that. And then what I do, so we all have our own water bottles. We all have hydro flasks, by the way, because they keep your water cold. And we take them everywhere we go. And I do make my kids all carry their own water bottles. So that's another thing, because you don't want to have to carry all everybody's water bottle. So I do bring those. I get the big water jugs that I order um, from, I either pick them up at the grocery store when we get there, or I order them from Amazon. The other thing that I do buy from the grocery store is oatmeal packets. You guys, the, you want to make sure that you get like the ones that don't have artificial ingredients in them because that's just nasty. And you will be surprised at how many say all oh, natural and then little tiny writing it says plus artificial ingredients. What's up with that? Like, come on, learn how to read labels like and just make sure that it says like this one is raw and bare. And it says organic whole wheat um, grain rolled oats. Just make sure it says that and it doesn't have like corn syrup or any of that other junk in there because that stuff just messes with your system. You don't want it. So get actual oatmeal um, and get these little packets. You can, um, they're just really easy and what you do is you can pour them in a little, you know, the coffee cups that they keep in the room run the water through the coffee machine without the coffee, voila, you have oatmeal. Or if they have a place downstairs where you can get hot water, which most hotels do, do that. It's super easy, great meal, the kids love it. Um, if your kids are picky and they want stuff in them, you can get some with like berries in them or things like that, um, whatever you need to do. But that's another great meal that you can do while traveling. I also get Greek yogurt. Um, now, I do have some kids in my family that can't have dairy, um, so they get like coconut yogurt um, or almond yogurt, but I do get yogurts because they're easy. Uh, another thing you wanna make sure when you're doing this um, is that it doesn't have corn syrup or like cornstarch or any other junk in it. Make sure it's natural. Get like some yogurt, stick them in the fridge in the hotel rooms, make sure that you always also pack plastic utensils. I bring um, a spoon for everybody, a fork for everybody, plastic of course, and I wrap it in like a dish towel so that we have a dish towel while I'm in there because sometimes things get messy. So I bring that every time we travel and it works really, really well. Another thing that I like to get are like nuts. You can, these are pistachios, you can do almonds, you can do walnuts, whatever your kids like. Um, another thing that you can do, bars. So my kids like Cliff Bars. Um, I like Lara Bars. Um, a lot of people like Quest Bars. It just kind of depends what you know what you like. But you can get bars, and these are great. Like when we go traveling, we're out during the day, like Disney World, Disneyland, or when we were in um, Italy and we were in Rome and we we're just walking around all day. It was handy to have bars in our pack because the kids are always hungry. Like it doesn't matter how much you feed them, they are always hungry. So I always make sure to have snacks on hand. You can do, um, you know, the nuts and you've got the bars and other things that don't need to be refrigerated that you can stick in a backpack um, and bring those with you during the day. Saves you money, saves you time, keeps your kids happy. The last thing you wanna do is like have hungry kids or you be hungry. So I always make sure to keep those around. So let me recap. Shakeology for breakfast while I'm traveling with for the whole entire family. Yes, we all drink it. I do oatmeal, I get Greek yogurts, I get nuts, and I get bars. And a lot of times I'll get like the chicken, like those little, um, you know, chicken packets that you can buy. Amazon delivers those too, and you can buy them at the grocery store. Again, just check the labels and make sure it's all natural and doesn't have a bunch of junk in it because it's just disgusting. So you want to read the, read the labels. And the cool thing with Amazon now is you can go on there and you can read what's in things. And I definitely have my favorites um, that I can actually tell you what they are. I love Applegate um, is one that I really trust for meats and they have that everywhere. They have, um, you know, in the European countries, 
you don't get all the artificial ingredients, which is really nice. So you don't have to worry about it, but in the States you do. And they had that in Nashville when I was there last week and I ordered that. Um, it's really yummy. So that's what I do for food. Again, remember, go to Target or Walmart and get one of these. It will save you. You can blend your shake in it. Um, the other thing that I do to stay on track is um, I do work out on vacation. Um, especially when I have my kids, I need that sanity. And I work out in my hotel room. Last week, if you saw my video, my roommate and I were in a little hotel room and we were both working out. There's really no excuses. Um, a lot, some hotels don't have gyms, some have gyms and there's like one machine or <laughs> there was one time I went to a hotel and it had like mis mixed match weights. So I don't depend on those. I've been known to do my workout in my hotel room. I've taken it out by the pool. I've done it in the parking lot. I don't really care what other people think. All I care is that I get my workout in and keep my sanity. So what I do is I bring like the 21 Day Fix or the 21 Day Fix Extreme because all I need is a band. I don't have to bring weights. I can do it with band. So I do those. Another good one is Pyo, 22 Hard Corps. Um, there's so many workouts that don't require a ton of equipment and they're only 30 minutes. There's no excuses. 22 is only 22 minutes. You just get up a little earlier than your family, bust out your workout, and you're done for the day. It's amazing. So I do that. Um, I bring my laptop normally, and it does have a DVD, um, you know, an external DVD drive that I can pop my DVDs in. But most of the time, I'm using Beachbody On Demand, which is amazing, and it's inexpensive. So I can actually run my workouts from my phone, my kid's iPad, because I don't have my own iPad because my daughter took it, so I use their iPad, or my laptop. So I, as long as the hotel has Wi-Fi, which, let's face it, most have Wi-Fi. Um, there's only been a few times in foreign countries where I haven't been able to get Wi-Fi. But this is not hard to pack. It's so skinny that I just stick it in there, and I can still do it. So there you have it. Traveling and staying fit and healthy, it is not that hard. Do not make it harder than it is. Trust me. Just set up your mind like, okay, I'm going to do this. I'm going to go traveling and I'm going to order food. I'm going to bring my Shakeology. I'm going to bring my blender and my workouts and I'm going to do my best. Like don't realize you're not going to always be perfect. You're going to have things happen, um, especially if you're, um, you know, on a fun trip, like you're going to you know, Hawaii or Mexico, and you're planning on indulging, then do schedule that. But if you indulge every single, if I indulged every single time I traveled, I would never maintain the results I have. And like I said, you guys, last year we lived out of suitcases for four months. Um, and then we travel all the time. We're gone for, you know, like March, we were gone for two and a half weeks. Um, and we were all over. We never stay in one place longer than, like I said, like three to five days, sometimes seven days. Um, I'm on a plane once a month, so is my husband, and these are things that we've had to do because honestly, it makes me feel good. I want to feel good. I want to have energy to play with my kids. I want them to be able to do this. We love traveling, and so we had to figure out how do we do this and keep it a lifestyle. So it really is a lifestyle for us. I will admit the first few times there was trial and error, but learn from my mistakes. These are things that will help you. And then do schedule for that fun dinner that you're going to go have or that margarita or guac and chips. That's like my favorite. Um, and enjoy it. But you know that the rest of your trip you've been doing really well, so it won't affect you that bad. So anyway, there you have it. Those are my trips, my tips. If you have any other tips that you'd like to add, feel free to comment below. If you have any questions and you're like, well, what do I do if I'm here? Ask me, you guys. I've traveled. I've been, like I said, foreign countries. I've been all over the States. I've been all over the world. And I probably have an answer for you. So there you have it. I hope you guys have a great day and enjoy your weekend. And if you're traveling, take some of these tips with you and let me know how it goes. Bye.